Monster Studios presents Custom Lego Vehicles. We're going to start off with our planes, but first I'd like to welcome you to our first broadcast from the Rock Monster Studios Laboratory V1. Our first planes are two, are the twin fighters and a cargo plane. The twin fighters look exactly the same except for their tail fins, which move, their tail fins move up and down. Their wheels turn, and they're mainly used for guarding cargo planes like this one. The cargo plane has a cockpit that moves up and down, and room to store cargo. Next, it's our biplane. Our biplane has moving propellers, two wings, two sets of wings, a propeller in the back that moves, a moving steering wheel, moving levers, the steering wheel doesn't look like it moves, no, the steering wheel doesn't move, a gun used for combat in the air and when the pilot needs to get out and fight. And two laser guns. Yes, I know, there's laser guns on a biplane. And moving wheels. Next is the bug plane. The bug plane has moving wings on each side. And a moving... Um, whatever this is. Tailgate, tailgate. And then see-through, tra a translucent windows in the front. And on the bottom, it has landing gear for hover landing. It's mainly used for cargo transport. Next is Cedric the Bull's carriage. Cedric the Bull is actually a Lego character. It has Cedric the Bull on it. Someone to man the mo the gun, which moves. The gun moves up and down, and the gun shoots. That's actually the gun used in the re in the original Cedric the Bull sets. It comes with two guards with spears only. Torches and the spikes on the throne. <coughs> Next is our recon vehicle. The recon vehicle has a moving um, turret, guns, a moving light, and a moving window. The turret and this part of the vehicle were actually from the, Le the Lego Star Wars droid tank. The wheels turn and the levers move and there was something back here but it fell off. Next is our post-apocalyptic rescue vehicle. It has a moving, it has moving handlebars a charger for our rescue robots. There's a flying rescue robot which uses a chainsaw. And then a rescue robot, a land bound rescue robot that uses a gun. It also has the symbol of the rescue vehicles, the lion, on it. Next is our other reconnaissance vehicle. It has a turret that, that moves on the back, 
and a gun here that the pilot can use in combat while in the vehicle and if he needs to get out and go somewhere. The net, the cage also moves up and down. The body comes from a Lego Power Miner's Fire Blaster, but I took the water off and put a turret on it. The turret can actually not shoot forward. It has to shoot behind the vehicle. <coughs> Next is the tank. The tank has two walls on the front and back used for pushing away grass when it goes on missions outside. Moving treads, lights, room for a driver, somewhere to put other things that you need to put on, a large turret that moves with crystals all over it, two machine guns, for combat on the tank if the pilot needs to get out and use one. And last but not least, the sled. The sled comes with turbines that move up and down and fans inside of them that turn. A control pad with levers and control panel, I think, a gun on the top, and two guns here, and a moving steering wheel. It's usually used for combat in snow. It also has this for attaching other guns. Um, these are just a few of my favorite vehicles. Thanks for, wa um, thanks for watching. Hope you liked them.